Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today is the final day of my palette collection series where I have just been showing you my palettes. It is not a declutter uh, if I come across a palette that I uh, have questions about whether I want to keep it or not. I will put it in a use it or lose it whether it is in a live stream or I make a video where I have a bunch of products that I am questioning whether I want to keep them or not and I will judge it then whether I want to keep it or not so I want to use it at least one last time to make a final decision so I am not decluttering based on whether I use stuff or not because I will get around to using my palettes or not. If you have been watching this whole series, thank you so much. I will leave a playlist of the whole thing down below if you want to watch it from the beginning to this end. There are six parts. This is the last part. And yeah, I'm going to be going through the rest of my drawer, the R through Z's. These are not in exact alphabetical order. It is just the drawer that I keep the R through Z's by the name of the palette, not the name of the brand. And I'm also going to be going through my larger palettes, which don't really fit into the drawer so well. Those are not in any kind of order at all. And then I'm going to be going through my Shop My Stash palettes, which I haven't unless you've seen my shop my stash for june you haven't seen them so enough chit chat let's go ahead and get right on into them okay let's start with my very newest palette if you saw my short yesterday you would have seen i got a birthday present from miss gloria from makeup and more with gloria p i think that's her new name she is she used to be she used to be Beauty After 50, and now she has a new name. I will leave her link to her channel down in the comments below as well. It's the color. She sent me this for my birthday. It is the Smoking Hot palette from ColourPop. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. You'll probably see us do a collaboration with this palette as well. So it's got a lot of nice, summery, hot hot colors in it very warm colors very beautiful i cannot wait to try to use this palette again i love the look i came up with today i also have a short coming out today showing me using it or it's just a transition one of these things where i'm not wearing it and then all of a sudden i'm wearing it okay the next one i have is the color pop thumper palette I just love this one. I don't have any of the other Bambi palettes. I don't have the flower or the Bambi one. This is the only one I got. I got it from the Boxy Charm Drop Shop. This is the only color story that I really liked. Of course, it's a mauve color story. So, of course, that's the one I'm going to pick. This one I got in Boxy Charm as well. It's the Tres Luce Tres Renas palette meaning a three queens and this is what it looks like very colorful i got the purples and pinks that i like I like to pull this out when i'm feeling those kind of colors that kind of way and it is very beautiful a very very nice formula this is my blend bunny a surge i think well, I am going to show you another Blend Bunny one today. I think I've already shown you the Dollhouse palette. This one is fun. Again, you can go down the columns and just make a look from that. Very good for nice, colorful looks. And yeah, I've got another palette I'm going to show you in a few minutes that is very similar to this palette as well. Now, my favorite Natasha Denona Midi palette and just palette overall is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. She has been shown a lot of love. This one has the purples and the pinky colors in it. So this one you can make wearable looks with. You can make nighttime looks with it. Love this palette. 
And that the palette I got just recently, I took this on vacation with me as well, is the Tarte Sweet Cravings palette. It is just so darn adorable. Look, it's like little candies, little chocolates in a chocolate box, <laughs> and the shimmers are so nice. And this makes me want to try more Tarte stuff. Those Gilded and Glamour palettes that I got make me not want to try more Tarte stuff. But this, but those are holiday palettes. And they say they don't put as much effort into the holiday palettes. This makes me want to try more Tarte stuff. Okay, one of my Nomad palettes that is definitely up there on the list of favorite Nomad palettes is the Winter Whistler Lodge, Whistler Snow Lodge. And this is what she looks like when I want to make a blue look, a green look. You can even make a neutral look with this with a little pop of color in it. It is very nice and it has a couple of dual, this dual chrome is beautiful, this blue and pink one, as well as this pink and white one right here. Mm. This is a beautiful palette and yeah you've got some i mean maybe you can't make like a very detailed <laughs> um neutral look in it but you got your brown and your brown shimmer here just to get you started so yeah love that okay a nomad another nomad palette this one don't like as much as the whistler palette this is the Verona Amor y Muerte, Muerte palette, Love and Death. And this is their Romeo and Juliet palette. Again, their shimmers were too hard pressed in this one, most of them. And all these reds are kind of in the same tonal family. And mm, these darks are really dark. I mean, I made, I was able to make some absolutely beautiful looks with this palette, but it got real messy <laughs> before. I mean, it was one of those trust the process processes, but I mean, I don't know. It takes a lot of work with that one. This one I need to use more. It is my ColourPop Wild Nothing palette. It is a beautiful light look. I know this one isn't for everybody because the colors are so light in it. But if I really want a makeup, no, no makeup, makeup look, I will pull for this one. It is really nice. Then I have my, oops, everything's falling over. Can't, wouldn't be a video without that happening. This is my Nabla side by side palette. You will usually find this on sale at Ulta a lot. This one has been used quite a bit. I love this one. It is very much like my Sultry palette, which is also a favorite palette of mine. Tell me you don't see a lot of similarities between these two, although this one has that pinky color in it. These two are a lot alike. But this one you can't get anymore. But this one you can still get. So if you've been wanting the Sultry palette, I would say pick up the Nabla Side by Side palette. Although you're not going to get that shade Bloom, but I'm sure you can find that somewhere else. Love these two palettes. Definitely up there. Aha! Uh -huh, my hair. In Definitely can, definitely up there in my favorites list. This one I picked up in the Boxy Drop Shop. This is the Sahara Nights palette. It was only like $5 or something, but it's all shimmers. So I haven't really used it at all. And they don't have names. I like it when they have names, even if it's printed on the back. But that's what she looks like right there. I need to pull it out for a shot my stash and use it with like that Joa palette or even that Wild Nothing palette or something to to um, give a little oomph, you know? And then I have a palette that I just don't know about. I got this So Strange palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. I, 
I don't know if I'm gonna buy from Unearthly Cosmetics anymore. Um, I got this because I love Beetlejuice and it has um, the character, Winona Ryder's character on here. And, but I didn't, I didn't love the color story in it. And these shimmers are so flaky. And like I said, these two colors are very, these two col purples right here are very much the same. I don't, I don't want to put it in and use it or lose it though because I love the artwork on this. It's just something I'm going to keep around for the packaging, I think. I think that's what it comes down to. Okay, this is the Lime Crime Venus 3. I think it's starting to lose its potency whatever you call it. I think it's starting to lose a little of its uh, pigment in it. Last time I used it, it just wasn't doing it for me at all. I think I'm going to put this in a use it or lose it because I've had this for quite a while now and I just don't think it's living up to expectations. So yeah, it is purple and moths so I really do like it we'll see what I can do with it okay next I have Sydney Grace singles in a magnetic palette I have bought some of their when they were having a sale I bought some of their single shadows and some highlighters in there and I just put them in the Z palette and I just put it under S for Sydney Grace singles. And yeah, I need to pull these out and play with them as well as that in Mel's memory. I pulled it out last month and then didn't use it. But yeah, they are very pretty. I could make a look with these, a couple of different looks with these. So yeah, it's just a matter of bringing them out and using them. Okay, this is probably the very first Ace Beauté palette I ever got. It was in a BoxyCharm, probably the first BoxyCharm I ever got as well. And it is very beautiful, would make a beautiful sunset look. Cover up these <laughs> colors right here and then make a very beautiful look with these colors. These just don't seem to go, do they? But these colors make a very nice look these would add a pop of color for sure so yeah next we have another ace beauté palette it is the tropical vibes palette it is nice and grungy green this if you're looking to get the yucca palette if you already got natasha denona yucca palette if you're looking to get that one if you already have this one in your collection you probably don't need the Natasha Denona one unless you just collect her palettes like I do. Uh, that's why I haven't run out and gotten the Yucca palette just yet because I have this palette and I was, I'm was i still debating on whether I want to get the Natasha Denona one or not. So I don't know. Okay, one of my favorite neutral palettes is the Stone Cold Fox by ColourPop. This will give you any kind of cool toned neutral look that you could ever dream of in all of your fantasies so yeah i absolutely love this palette i've used this palette quite a bit i just wish that it was more feasible to take places with me so yeah love 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 this palette okay i'm gonna grab my bigger palettes and we shall Continue. Okay, this is wherein lies a lot of my Jeffree Star palettes. Here we have the Conspiracy palette, which was another gift from Gloria. And it was his, it was Jeffree Star's collaboration with Shane Dawson. And that is what it looks like. Uh, very complicated color story of course it was with Shane Dawson who knows nothing about beauty but 
I kind of wish uh, Jeffree Star had kind of led him a little better into creating a color story, but you know, it is what it is. And I have come up with some nice looks with this, but be it be what it may be what it is. It is an interesting color story, but I really like this palette nonetheless. And yeah, and it was a gift, so I love it even more. It is a challenging palette. <laughs> so, okay, next we have a Blood Sugar from Jeffree Star, and this is his red and pink, and it's got some purples in it too. And it even has some neutral colors in it as well. So, this is a great palette. I got it in a mystery a box, and I'm so happy to have it. Oh, and this conspiracy pal, I do love the packaging on it. It's coming up like a pyramid. Okay, and then I have the Jeffree Star Pink Religion palette. It has all the pinks and purples you could ever imagine. I am going to be using this one for a collab I have coming up. You will see it next month. Okay, I think that's all the Jeffree Star palettes that I have. And then I have a Morphe palette, the 35F, Fall into Fabulous. I think that's just going to happen. I think this was a gift from somebody, but I, and I absolutely love it. It is beautiful for making fall, late summer looks with, yeah, it, ow, it pinched me. Okay, love that look. Okay, then another palette that was gifted to me was the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. And yeah, a very beautiful, colorful look. You've got shades here, shades, at the shimmers out here. Those are baked shimmers, so they come out even extra nice. And you've got a little baked highlight in there, or you could use it for inner corner. Brow bone highlights, or you could use it as your cheek highlights love this palette i love using this palette you can make lots of different looks with this then i have my some more sydney gray sing, singles but this came in a set and it's called um in mel's memory that's what these are right here for mel thompson this was a single i got i don't know in a beauty box or something like that and these are some jeffree star singles over here so i i love greens and pinks together so i love that so yeah really really love that and then the palette that I said looked like a palette, the Surge palette, this is from Ace BK. One of my prized palettes is the Palette palette from Ace BK. I still keep it in its bubble wrap and everything. It's like a little game. That's why it's called Palette And that's what it looks like on the outside. I still keep this, but it's totally wrecked on the inside because I've used it so much. That is the color story. You play a little game, it picks out the colors for you, and you gotta make a look based on those colors. So it's really fun. But this kinda, this color story looks very similar to the Surge. So, but I keep both of them around, but I really, really like my Palette Opoly palette. Okay, let's go over palettes now that I have in my shop my stash. Okay, let me go. Okay, these, like I said, these are not in any alphabetical order or anything. These are just ones I picked out from for the shop my stash for this month. Okay, I've got another Ace Pute. It is the Nostalgia palette. And yeah, I pulled this out to make a colorful look just for it to do a short and to do an Instagram look with. I did a really nice sunset look with it and it's a really nice summer palette to do stuff with i don't know if ace beauty still sells this though because when i was trying to tag it on instagram it didn't show up on the list of products from ace beauty they had everything else but they didn't have this so i, 
I don't know if they still have it or not. A palette that is similar to this one is the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. Because I used this one the very next day. And I was like, am I making the same look as I made the day before? Now I know this one is more colorful. But this one has shades in it that are very similar to this one as well. It doesn't have the green or the purple in it but I mean to look at them they don't look the same but to swatch them they're kind of similar I know you're thinking you're out of your mind but if you have the two swatch them together and you'll see this is the Natasha Denona sunrise palette again another beautiful look you can make sunset look sunrise looks with it it's kind of it's up there as one of my favorites but it's like it's nowhere near the retro palette as far as my favorite did i show y'all the celestial love palette i feel like i pulled this out late for my shop my stash i'm just gonna show it to you right here the packaging is really cute that is what she looks like right there pinks and purples i'm just gonna show it real fast because i feel like i pulled it out already when i did the top drawer okay this is the blends palette did i show this one too i don't remember this is my rainbow palette yeah i'm pretty sure i showed those no well i don't know here it is again <laughs> here is my rainbow palette that i use when i'm doing collaborations when i need to do a rainbow look things like that so it's really good quality i love blend bunnies quality Okay, then I have these. So let's go to these real quick. I have, and then you'll probably see these again when I do my eyeshadow roundup. Um, probably tomorrow. Is that what I'm doing tomorrow? Okay, I have the ColourPop Troublemaker palette. It looks like this. I'm going to say judgment on these until, I guess, when I do my thing on Friday. Tomorrow's palette roulette. Okay, so that is the Troublemaker palette. It's a fairly new palette that I got from ColourPop. Then I have this Laura Geller quad. That looks like I st still have this little little thingy in here. Love, God love that. Okay, that was really pretty. Then I have the Cabana Club. I did a use it or lose it with this one. Spoiler alert, since I already did that live, I have decided to keep it. Gotta love that. This one, spoiler alert, I haven't used. Okay, this is the Sandbar Mirage one. It is a just a neutral palette. I'm not going to be showing this on Friday because I didn't use it. But... Um, anyway, I've got to use this palette. I don't know if it's going to be a use it or lose it situation because it's just a neutral palette, but I really need to try and use that. Then the only palette I have from St. Angel Sinners, I know that's a crime around here. This is the Yummy palette. I have another Angels, St. Angel Sinners palette, but it's in collaboration with the Gourmand Girls. The, the, this is oops crack this is what it looks like it has some really great duochrome or multi-chrome I don't know what they are but they're great but I will let you know more on Friday then I have my ladybug glow palette which I just got from ice cream beauty I've made a couple of looks with this I did a live with it and also when I got the bag I did a look with it. Now this palette is the other Saint Angel Sinners palette. It's got the two bunnies on it. I guess that represents them. But it's also with the Gourmand Girls. And this is called the Together palette. Cute little springy summery palette. I just love the aesthetic of this palette. And then I pulled out the Makeda palette. Um, spoiler alert, I didn't use this one either. 
So that's what the Michaela from Glam Light looks like. And another one I didn't use was the Coco Blend from Zoeva. Zoeva, however you want to say it. It looks like this. And then I pulled out the Zion Hip Dot Palette, which is the look I was going to do today, but I got the Smoking Hot Palette, so I decided not to use this one. I decided to use the Smoking Hot Palette instead. I pulled this out for Shop My Stash and then never used it. Okay, and then... oh. I used I decided to pull this out and just absolutely fell back in love with it. Oh I didn't mean to tell y'all that. This is the Alva palette from Onza and that's what she looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. And then my favorite lethal palette is the Nightflower palette. I pulled this out because I absolutely wanted to play with this again. This is my purple fantasy. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite purple palette. Ah, oh, love it to death. And then this, I did a collab with Andy Does Stuff. This is the Ace Butte Smoky Roses palette. It's a nice little palette. You'll see where it ranks on Friday. That's what it looks like. And then the BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Mimosa Palette. Gifted to me by Gloria. Gloria gives me a lot. Gifts, gifts me a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Thank you so much, Gloria. And that is what it looks like. Very nice and pinky color story. Let's see if you can see it better close up okay oh and there's one more palette there is my roasted palette no my bonfire palette from rasha b cosmetics it looks like this it is a very cute palette kind of like uh don't know what i'm gonna do with this but i like it look you might see it you might see it soon you may not we will see so I will put this over here. So okay. that ends my palette collection of 2023. I don't know how I'm gonna do this every year, but we shall see, we shall see. You might see a lot of use it or lose it's coming up next month. We'll see about that. I don't know at this point. I've got a lot in, a lot in my basket right now for use it or lose it so we shall see okay thank you so much for watching this video and all my other palette collection videos if you watch them all if not like i said there is a playlist down in the description box and give this video a like if you like this video please leave me a comment letting me know what you think do you have any of these palettes have you decluttered any of these palettes do you like any of these palettes let me know how your day is going i would just love to hear from you so and doing any of that or sharing this video with your friends would really help me out with engagement but even you watching this video to this point helps a lot too it really does so thank you so much for watching and if you are new here, thank you for watching as well. Please consider, hitting, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hitting the notification bell, setting it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. I hope y'all are all having an amazing, wonderful, fantastic day out there today. If you're having an especially hard time, know that I am thinking about you. I am sending you out all of those good vibes because everybody needs some good vibes. Everybody. <laughs> Please remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there. And I will see you for Palette Roulette collab tomorrow with the Glam Girls. Okay, just stay well until then. Goodbye. Okay,